Welcome to the Fundamentals of Success. Today's episode is all about laying the groundwork necessary for you to go from the woman on the couch binge watching Netflix depressed about life to the woman standing tall who is confident, disciplined, courageous, and filled with faith. I call this a limitless woman. But to be a limitless woman is not just about dreaming. Being limitless is defined like this. It's all about having unlimited potential to achieve one's purpose, goal, or dream, driven by the right mindset, action, and belief. It's about doing the necessary work to not only change your life, but to live a fulfilling life the way that God ultimately designed. To get started, we first must understand the three basic principles that all successful people have in common. These three principles are the foundation that takes a person from mediocre to successful. I call it the three pillars of being limitless. Pillar number one, mindset. Your mindset is shaped by your circumstances, it's shaped by your experiences, it's shaped by your knowledge and wisdom and education that you have. How you are today is really a buildup of everything you've ever experienced in life and everything you've ever taken in. And how you take those things in, you're going to do certain things in reaction to it. And that's what's gonna set up the life that you're living right now. Whenever you look at a person with a poor man's mindset, a lot of the times they're the victim, they never take responsibility for what's going on in their lives. And they don't realize that if they change things, if they do work, if they actually like start pursuing things in a different matter, things could change in their lives. But that's a part of how our mind is shaped. Like our mind is like a control center. We have to be very careful with what we allow to program our mind because we don't think about how vulnerable our minds can be. And that's why when we talk about like programming through media or television or films and all this different stuff, their goal is to get you to have the kind of mindset that they want you to have to make decisions and choices that they want to lead you to. How we see the world everything that we feel emotions and how we react and all of that comes from what's been programmed into our mind it's so important for us to really heal the wounds and traumas and things that we've experienced that has shaped our belief shaped our mindset shaped our perspective that's causing us to live in the way that we're living today there's so many people who want to be successful but they don't know how to because they don't realize what's holding them back is maybe limiting beliefs from their childhood that has continued to grow and fester into roots that have become fruits that are not beneficial to them. We don't realize that our traumas, if we don't deal with them, they become how we view the world, right? They become our perception and that perception becomes our perspective and that becomes how we operate, how we move. One of the things that has been very beneficial for me is doing the work that it takes to change my mind. For me as a Christian, my faith is pivotal in that. Reading the word has really changed a lot of the ways that I see and view the world. When you grow up feeling like you're not loved or you're not wanted or you're not worthy those things shape you and you don't think that they affect every area of your life but they do they don't just affect your relationships they affect how you you move in your career they affect how you operate with other people they affect the decisions and how you make decisions so if you don't heal these wounds these traumas you don't deal with the lies that have been programmed into your mind to make you believe that you are something that you're not then you're going to operate that way and so for me one of the life-changing things and it has helped me so much is letting God renew my mind you know that's what the whole purpose of Christ is, is it's when you accept Christ, he renews your mind, right? It takes away those lies and it gives you real truths to back it. For me, understanding how much God loves me makes me realize I have value. And the moment you start to realize you have value, you have worth, you stop looking at yourself from this pitiful, woe is me position, but you actually start looking at yourself from a victory position. And when you start looking at yourself from a victory position, you start to recognize like, hold up, wait a minute, I actually can thrive here. I actually can do great things maybe you start to realize like oh the only reason I'm not able to do certain things is because I lack knowledge so now you start to get the knowledge you start to get the understanding and once you start learning and growing and start practicing and doing next thing you know your confidence is building your courage is building and that's how you become more and more successful and obviously I'm giving you just a sample size of it it's so much deeper than that but when you have the right mindset when you have the right focus, when you have your mind program on the right things, not the things that distract you, not the things that wanna pull you away from the real truth, but when you have the right truth that's guiding you, there's nothing you can't do. Because once you have the right mindset, now you're driven into the next pillar, which is action. You're driven to take action because whatever your mindset is, that's the action you're gonna take. So for instance, if somebody is an addict, 
then you're going to constantly see them do things that addicts do. When you have the right disciplines, when you have the right habits, then you're going to pursue things that matter. You're going to learn how to prioritize what's important, remove what isn't, but then you're going to start to realize like, okay, what are my weaknesses? What are my strengths? Let me operate in my strengths and let me sharpen my weaknesses. The more you can focus yourself and get your mind to align with the truth that is designed for your life, then you can be able to take the right actions. The more actions you take in life, the more you move, the more you step up, the better off you are. You know, a lot of the times we don't want to take that first step because we're afraid. Oh my gosh, what if it doesn't work out? Like, what if people laugh at me? What if it's a bad video? Like, what if whatever it is that you're trying to do, it doesn't matter. Like, you just got to do, you just got to start. When you start getting into that successful mindset, it's like, you know what? I'd rather fail a thousand times than not fail at all. That's why you see certain athletes who will go to the gym practicing that same move a thousand times that's why you'll see certain musicians are constantly learning and fumbling and messing up because it's better for you to put stuff out and get better than not like often whenever i look at my old editing videos my first videos that i ever edited or recorded or filmed i cringe because i'm like oh my gosh they're so terrible but as i'm watching it i'm like oh i could have did this and i would have done this and i'm like it's because i've gotten better the only reason i can even see now what i couldn't see then is that I'm more knowledgeable, I'm more educated, I'm more, I have more practice and experience. But you're never gonna get to that point if you don't just start, if you don't just take action and do the things that you need to do to get to success. Because at the end of the day, if you're just sitting there waiting for somebody to tell you it's perfect, it's amazing, it's never gonna work. Take this from a perfectionist, it's never worth your time to waste time trying to be perfect. But it is beneficial to your time to get better once, one step at a time. Get better one step at a time. So if you're making videos, just get better one video at a time. If you're trying to write a book, just get better each book at a time. It's not about perfecting it today because you got to sharpen it. It's going to take years to get better. When I look back, I started editing videos back in 2012. And so it's been 12 plus years now. And I'm sitting here like, wow, how much I've grown. And so again, you have to get to a point where you become so comfortable with yourself because you're not holding on to these limiting beliefs, these lies that are keeping you grounded in this false narrative that you are great if you're perfect, but you go into this understanding like, you know what? My greatness is on the other side of experience, of time, of patience, of work. And so I don't have to worry about that. I'm not worried about becoming great today. Like there's no need to become the best right now. Grow into that. And so take the actions necessary so you can do that. And then the third pillar that I see in successful people is their belief. Everyone has a different belief system. For me, my belief system, as I said before, is I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus and I believe in the power that comes with God. And I believe in the power that comes with living a spiritual life that allows you and affords you the ability and the confidence and the courage to move forward in whatever it is you're trying to do. The more you have something to hold on to, the more you have something to root into, it allows your endurance to grow, it allows you to develop. It gives you kind of a cushion of protection to take risk, to do things because you know you're not alone. When you hear the scripture where Paul is talking about how God told him that his grace is sufficient enough, when you start to realize that God's grace is so powerful. God's grace is an undeserved favor in which he says, because you have faith in me, I am going to love you. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to provide for you. That no matter what you go through, whatever obstacles come your way, whatever oppositions or setbacks or failures or sufferings that you deal with, no matter what situation or scenario, he is going to be there to help you. When you have that belief system rooted in that foundation, there isn't anything you can't do. You see a lot of times with athletes, Please. I see it with Coco Gauff. When she won the US Open, one of the things she first did was give thanks to God. She was over there praying and then she like gave him his glory when she was speaking and talking about how he helped her on this journey. You see that with a lot of successful people is that they root their success into a belief that pushed them, motivated them, inspired them. Now I'm not saying you should only believe in God so you can become successful. But what I'm saying is there is a benefit to having a belief system. There is a benefit to having faith. There is a benefit to to not doing everything on your own and having to carry all that weight by yourself. Because the truth of the matter is, no matter what you do, if you think that you're going to get to a place of success on your own, it's never gonna happen. There's not a single person who's been successful because they made it on their own. There's so many factors at play. And one of the biggest ones is God, because in the scriptures, it talks about how God grows, right? It says, we can plant, we can water, but only he grows. As I watch successful people, they have a belief and that belief transcends into who they are as 
people. They believe in themselves. You have to have that belief system. You have to have that belief in yourself that you can do something. If you don't believe you can achieve something, you're never gonna do it. You can't let your insecurities and your doubts and your worries and your fears cause you to stop believing in what you're trying to achieve. Because belief to me, out of the three pillars, is probably the most important. Because you can have the right mindset, you can take action, but if you don't believe in what you're doing, if you don't believe in the message that you're preaching, if you don't believe in the mission that you're on, if you don't believe in the project that you're trying to create, no matter what you do, you're always going to fail. No matter what you do, you're always going to miss out on the opportunities because when they come, you're not even going to know that you're worthy of them. You're not even going to believe that you have value. You only have one life to live. And the last thing you want to do is grow up and be in your 80s and 90s. Ask yourself a thousand times, like, why didn't I do the things that I wanted? These three foundational things, the right mindset, taking action and having a belief system have allowed them to grow into who we see they are. I always tell people, don't be jealous of where you see people because you have no idea where they came from. But if you can understand and learn how they got there, then you yourself can take on some of the good parts of it, the practices, because not everything they do is good, but the parts that are good, you can take that on and then you can yourself find success. It's better for you to learn than to stay in a position where you can never be successful and win. If I'm sitting here today, confidently speaking, it's because I've been through it. I know that it works and I want to help people be able to shift their mindset and get into the right position and give themselves a chance to win because I feel like the world has programmed our minds to always be in a losing mentality and to not see how we can win and only the select few people seem to figure it out but I believe everyone can figure it out if you're willing to do the work if you're willing to take the time and make the effort and I am willing to do the work and make the time and share it so hopefully you'll come back and subscribe and hopefully share with your friends and let them know and like I said I want to really help women get to that next level I want to really help women learn what it takes to be successful and how to accomplish all the things they desire and all the things they want to accomplish. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more women content, more stories, more explorations, discoveries, and truths. Visit rwprice.com for deeper dives on these topics and much more. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, my name is Whitney and I'm out. Shop our Limitless collection today only at shop.rjprights.com.